Take me out to California Take me out to California Hi guys, okay so this video is It is based around people's comments to each other and unkind words um, online and I know I've covered this stuff before and I covered it when my daughter had a video that went viral and I experienced a lot of kickback from that um, directed both at me and at Brooke um, and it was a new thing for me because I've had online stuff myself obviously um, but it was new for me to have hatred directed towards Brooke when she was like five um, but it's I've seen so much negativity across all social media platforms over the last couple of weeks um, and a lot of online bullying and I feel like it just needs addressed um, so my channel um, as well that over the last few weeks I've had somebody comment in on here um, and that person doesn't know me um, even if you watch me on here you don't necessarily know me you don't know all aspects of my personality or who I am and believe me I don't share everything um, and this person was commenting on here no doubt she will comment again on this video but it's part of it's part of the conversation and the dialogue and I'm not scared of dialogue with people and um, and I'll talk about that in a sec because I've had big dialogue with people who are trolls online um, but this person has been commenting on a lot of my videos they've been watching a lot about how I am dealing with and coping with the loss of my husband which I guess I'm fully uh, you know I taught I've spoken about this online and so you know she's perfectly entitled to comment but I'm also perfectly entitled to respond and as much as I am a meditating hippie I'm also far from a wallflower as you will probably know if you watch this channel and so I will also call you out if you've been a dickhead um, and this person is being a dickhead and what this person is asking me whether I loved my husband um, telling me how cold I am um, and other you know ridiculous comments and it just it kind of got me this week because I it's such a, there is so much judgment when it comes to grief and how you move forward um how you know i you even in your own head you i'm i'm trying to work out how i am every day and i'm a very self-reflective person um and you know I'm, I'm in this whole process of grief i've tried to be really open with you guys because i always look for what is going to be the best outcome you know what is going to where's the good that can come of the bad stuff and I'm, I'm that person and so for me firstly it's cathartic to talk through how I'm feeling it will be helpful I think for the girls as they get older and it's also a way for me to look back on this period in my life and, and maybe understand it in a few years time um, but also it's for you guys who are will are or will be going through grief of some description may not be the same type of grief as me as in the loss of a partner but it might be the pe a parent or a friend or whatever else and I think if we have these conversations then it's a good thing when people bool in and make comments about um, what with their own filter and accuse me of not loving my husband or especially when the video that that was commented on was me talking in the toilet of um the, by the bedside of my dying husband like i i was at the lowest point in my life and for somebody to then because i'm able to talk which is probably one of my top skills um tell me that i maybe don't love my husband it's it's like it's a shitty thing to do really shitty and really really um made me have to you know look and and look at that person and go i don't know what their life filter is and it's a real shame that 
they think it's okay to comment on my video you know when I'm still grieving obviously it's five months since Ross died and whatever grief looks like in my world right now that person felt the need to comment from I think they're from America um, from where they are and try to make me feel shit um, and and try to question my integrity and that kind of thing and it, it always when I get comments like that and regardless of whether it's about grief or whatever parenting or just who you are you know because you make videos obviously you're a narcissist and lunatic okay whatever um but those comments always like it really it kind of shocks me because I just always think what possesses somebody to then to go online and, and to make those comments what actually possesses somebody to do that and there was a really interesting conversation that I had um, maybe a couple of years ago around the time when, or was it a year ago? When was it? When Brooke's video went viral, so I, and I'll link this up. So my daughter had a video that went viral, really viral. Not intended anyway, obviously, like you can't decide when something's going to go viral. But it went viral and it's one of those things, it was a new experience for me that a video went that viral. And it was one of those where it's like the the genie's out of the bottle, you can't really get it back in and you just have to ride with it and you have to go with it. And somebody was commenting um, and I got into a dialogue with this person. I don't always do it because you know what, everyone's got their own opinions and they're entitled to them. It doesn't make it fact. But this particular person was commenting some really harsh things. Again, the comments were initially it was when Ross was alive and they were saying things like, oh, boo-hoo, so your husband's got brain cancer, bring out the violins, like really like raw stuff, harsh stuff. Um, and so I got into a dialogue with this person and they were commenting a lot of stuff and, and often when people are like that on my um, stuff, I, I tend to just amuse myself. So you know, often they will be, they'll have their profile picture will be like a flag or a cat or something um, because they never want to show that, very rarely want to show their identity because um, they want to shout abuse at you from behind the face of a cat. Um, and so usually I'll just laugh and be like, I can't take you seriously, you're a cat. Why is a cat shouting at me? Um, and I'll be joking. And so I was doing stuff like that. Um, and then this person just kind of, said oh yeah you're quite you actually are quite amusing you're quite sharp and I was like I know I'm brilliant like that's why you watch all my videos and comment on them and we got into a bit of a dialogue and eventually after a, a little bit of chat um on the YouTube comments the person emailed me and explained that they had been going through a really really tough time a really hard year had some health issues I um, had, I think I'd been off work or something and they were actually a police officer, which again, you just sort of don't imagine that's gonna be the case. And and I didn't continue the conversation with that person any further as it goes, um, and, but it really shocked me because it, it kind of made me go, what possesses somebody that to then, to do that, to go online? And he just said it was just his way of coping with the stuff that he was dealing with which blows my mind because it would be the last thing that I would do would be to go in being awful to somebody else to make myself feel better like it's the strangest thing to me but it seems that we have this because we have this anonymity and I can never say that I knew I was going to struggle with it anonymity I can't do it you know what I'm talking about right we can hide online behind cat profile pictures or profile pictures with a flag or whatever else and um we have that we can do that and so people i think people just behave in a really strange way where they think it's okay to be just ridiculously harsh to people um and i think it just has to stop it really has to stop it's it's a strange strange thing to do that and if you are that person and you get your kicks by commenting on whether it's a youtuber or a real person on instagram or facebook's pictures and videos you need to question like you need to question yourself and you need to question where you're at and where that's coming from because that is a really unhealthy hobby 
it's really strange and although you know often when people are youtubers and stuff it i guess it's different to people who are on tv because they seem a little bit more untouchable but when people are a youtuber you can comment and they will likely see your comment even if they don't co comment back and even if they're the big they will likely see those comments and sometimes they can be really at the wrong time you know like the some of the comments that i've had um over the last few years have have upset me um because they've just been at the wrong time it, it's unusual for them to upset me most of the time i would just laugh but in this process of grieving for the loss of my best friend and my my daughter's dad like I don't know whether these people can actually understand the pain of that. Um, this lady that's been commenting, and, and again, will definitely comment below this, um, tells me she lost her mum, which is really, really sad. Um, I don't know the circumstances of that. It's sad. I have nothing but empathy and love and support and nothing but good stuff for you and hope that you are able to get through that. I am not unique in my experience in losing my husband. I don't pretend to be. I am not unique in losing somebody that I love. I don't pretend to be. I share my journey because I have a platform and a voice and I know that because of the work that I do on my mindset and, and have done for so many years, I know that I deal with things in a different way to the majority. I'm aware of that. That doesn't make me a narcissist. That doesn't make me think I'm better than other people. That doesn't. This is an, an ego trip. I. This is just me talking, and it's a way of of being. And for those of you that don't know, I grew up on television in front of a camera, and in some weird, messed up way, I'm sure a psychologist, and psychiatrist, or whatever would have a field day with this being my comfortable space but being in front of a camera is a very comfortable place for me and actually a very calming space to be i did seven years on television it was my safe space when i was growing up it was my place of comfort my um my place to go when i didn't want to be at school you know it was just my comfortable space and so i guess there's something in that that i find it really comfortable to be in front of a camera talking um so yeah, I don't really know what the point of this video was. It was just sort of ponderings about why people do that and to let people know that actually it has an impact on people. And I've seen a lot of vlogger friends be attacked over um, a few things recently um, that I've been online and a few blogger friends and, and such criticism and such uh, online bullying that it just really has made me feel a little disheartened with how people behave. So if you are that person that is going around commenting on people's videos and just being a massive dick, question yourself, really question yourself. You don't have to like me, some of you won't. And you know what? That's absolutely fine. I probably wouldn't like you either. That's human nature, that's okay. You can have your own filter on me and, and how you perceive me. And I really have no qualms about that. I'm completely imperfect. I'm not, I'm a flawed human being and I don't always get it right and I don't profess to be perfect. So that's fine. But just consider that when you're commenting on people's videos, regardless of whether it's me or anybody else, you have no idea what they have going on that day, that moment, how they are coping within their lives. I certainly don't give you everything on here, not by any stretch. What I show you is what I want to show you and what I'm comfortable with sharing. And yes, that might be a lot. I share a lot with you and I, I, I try and be as vulnerable and open as possible so that we can connect and people, you know, we don't feel so alone in the world. But you don't get everything. You don't see my, you know, many of my tears or the, the struggles that I'm having with the, my daughters sometimes at the moment. You don't see the time when I'm on my own or, you, you know, you don't see the rubbish stuff, the time when I lose my temper or you don't see those things. You just don't. And and that's a good thing because for me personally, that's not what this channel is about. But I just think people need to consider what they write and what they say to people online. Um, and if you are that person, just consider, you know, just really have a 
good hard look in the mirror and think about whether you would want that to happen to you or somebody that you love and then think about whether that's the right thing to do just be nice to people you don't have to like people but don't be a shit <laughs> is what i'm saying to you um no matter who it is to and that is it that's all i have to say on the matter i'll speak to you all soon take me out to cut